Hi, it's a lipstick out. Thanks so much for watching today. I wanted to try some blush on for you today and show you the sorts of blush that I've been craving recently. Stuff that is either really nude and like, wait, what? Are you wearing blush? Or a little bit more on the side of you're wearing blush. Most of these today, actually looking at them, all of these today are either going to be liquid or creams. I do love a good powder blush and maybe we'll do a different video about powder blush. But right now, like in the summertime, I wear so much less makeup, like so much less. And so I'll sometimes either choose just to do like bronzer and highlight or just to do blush and highlight or like today, just blush. One of my favorite things about cream and liquid blush is I can just use my fingers. I mean, I'd probably be using fingers as well as brushes today, but I love just the ease, the absolute ease of just like and I'm out the door. So right now, I don't have any highlight. I don't have any bronzer. This part of my face here is unset. It has a little bit of color corrector and a little bit of the Glossier Stretch Concealer. That's all I'm wearing today for coverage, like on this part of my face. I'm gonna start with the shade that I feel like I've really been defaulting to, both in powder and liquid and creams, and it's this. <laughs> this is, it's maybe not necessarily Charlotte Tilbury's Pillow Talk, but this kind of rosy, barely nude color. This color is so easy to wear. Um, I have a little bit too much on the cushion here, so I'm not going to dot it on my face. I'm going to apply a little bit to the back of my hand and work with this. And I'm just going to start tapping it. I try and make sure that I don't bring it too far forward. For someone like me who's fair, this is the perfect amount of just a little blush. Not too much, just a little bit. And it ha I like that this has a matte appearance to it, but it's not drying. In summertime, I love a barely there blush like this if I'm wearing a really bold eye. If I'm wearing a really bold lip, sometimes something like this is just enough. Or on a date when I wanna look like I'm not really wearing a lot of heavy makeup, uh, something like this works. So this is the one from Charlotte Tilbury. And as I was going through the rest of my collection, kind of swatching, deciding what I wanted to show you today, um, I realized, look, I have a type. I really like this shade. And they're not identical, but um, this one right here is this one from Charlotte Tilbury. This one right here is a very different formula. It's from MOB, but this is one of those where it has a little bit more of a grab to it because it's made with clay, but it's it, this one hangs tight all day. Love, love, love. I feel like it takes a little bit more effort to blend it, and I like this one better when I'm blending, not with my fingers, but with a brush, a synthetic brush. It's fantastic. We all know about the soft pinch blushes from Rare, and this was literally one small dot, and look how much there is. I could do like both my cheeks and probably everybody in my family's cheeks with one small dot of this. This, by the way, is the shade Encourage, and this is what it looks like here. And out of all of them, this one is the coolest. The other ones have a little bit more of a kind of like a caramel or a tan undertone to them. The last one is kind of new to my collection. This one right here is from M Cosmetics. This is a shade they released earlier this year called Demure. And I absolutely love this formula. This formula I can like swipe here. I like that it doesn't actually pick up any product I have down below. So if I'm putting one of these on in any of the shades they come in because I have four blushes, um, I can swipe them on top of my face and I can't always do that with everything else. The formulas can sometimes disturb any foundation I have on below and then I can quickly with my fingers or a brush like blend it out. They're super easy but I do love this kind of almost like a beigey nude with a hint of pink and I love it on the lips but I especially love it on the cheeks and I realize I have this shade not just in liquids and creams but a ton in powder blush as well. I've had this Ritual Defeat blush for so long. It is one of my most reached for, one of my most used, and the one that really can be such a transforming look. And when I wear something like this, I tend to let this be the strong statement look on my face. So this is the color Nectar Pigment Balm in the shade Blood Flower. Oh my goodness. This, it looks really dark in the pan, but when you start tapping this on, it is beautiful. One of the easiest ways for me to put this on is to take a synthetic brush, like 
one dab. I bounce off any excess on the back of my hand. And then I'll take the brush like this and I will start applying it. So here is the shade Blood Flower. There have been times that I have put this like really boldly on the cheek and really boldly on the lip and like put my eyebrows up and not worn anything else. You know, where it's a little bit of concealer, really bold brows, a bold cheek, and then this same shade on the lip for a monochromatic look. And in the summertime, sometimes that's all the makeup I'm interested in wearing. But I love how this is a really bright, bold, um, very attention grabbing shade. This is a really bold swatch of Blood Flower. This is how I would wear it on my lips. And of course, it doesn't end up looking like this because you can really diffuse it out. And I really feel like sometimes something like this, one of these synthetic smaller brushes, is really good for distributing and diffusing the color. So if you're worried that it's gonna end up looking like this and you have fair skin, don't worry. Um, you know, just keep tapping sponge, fingers, synthetic brush, you'll get there. And I do love sometimes that really bold, like so much. So here's another one that I like that does a similar thing. They're not the same shades, they're not even close. This is from Beauty Pie. This is their Super Cheek Cream Blush, and this is the shade Red Light. This is one of those that has a, a very much a a cream to powder feel to it. It's not quite as glossy and shiny as this. This one always ends up feeling really hydrating on the face. Um, like I can still feel like there's a little bit of emollient like um, texture to it, which I like because it brings a little bit of glow and gloss to the skin. This one here, once you blend it out, it actually ends up being very, very powder feeling. It, it, you can't even tell you're wearing it, but as you're blending it out, it, I mean, it's, it's very much a kind of a cool toned, red and it looks like this and it's so pretty but i need the smallest amount but when i'm going for like a really bold punchy cheek i'll pick you know one of these two reds here's another one this is a different shade same formula from beauty pie this one is the shade french raspberry it's another one of those that if i'm looking for a really bold shade i'll go for something like this i think you see where i'm going here um, these are really super saturated swatches i thin them out so i get a whisper of color otherwise i look like a clown sometimes i look like a clown anyway but my goal is not to end up there and again another one of the ones from m the so soft this is the shade bitten but i think you can see like this really deep vibrant shade. These are the types of shades that I like to lean on, a little bit more berry leaning or a little bit more red leaning. I of course always shear them out. They end up looking more like this or more like this, which is what I'm going for in the summertime. But don't be afraid of a really bold color. If you, you know, use a damp sponge or you know you pick up a little bit, bounce it off in the back of your hand before you apply, you can really get a really pretty bright pop of color without it looking like this on your face. Another type of blush shade that I love for summer is something like this, a really soft, almost like a baby peach shade where it's not too intense. Uh, this kind of reminds me of those light desaturated nudie pinks that I was trying on at the beginning, but a really soft peach shade like this. I'm just going to give myself like a little swipe here and then with my fingers blend it out. I like that it brings just a little bit more color to the face than those, um, more pinky shades that tend to have a little bit more nude to them, but it's not too much and it blends with no problem. It goes so quickly. So this is what lychee looks like as a full swipe and here it is on the cheek. If you're thinking about other blushes that you might have in your collection, here's one that's been around for a while. This is the Cloud Paint from Glossier. This is the shade Beam. It's one of the lighter shades in the lineup. So this one's a little bit warmer. This has just a hair of pink to it. And another one that I like, it's, it's very different, but it is kind of a light peachy shade is this. This is another one of the ones from Beauty Pie, but this is one of the ones that has a shimmer to it, a bit of pearl in it. Uh, this one is called Glean Me Up. So it is a metallic cream blush. This is, a, I think, a limited edition shade for this summer, but um, I really do like these kind of softer peachy shades. I think they're really pretty and really easy to wear for fair skin. If you tend to like a peach shade, but it leans a little bit more coral, a little bit brighter, a little bit punchier, might I suggest this. This is another one from Beauty Pie. This is the shade Blazed Apple. This is one of those where I'll just, you know, 
take a little bit here, bounce off the excess on the back of my hand because this is kind of a powerful shade. And then I'm just going to Blazed Apple really has the ability to kind of come through as a punchy, bright coral compared to the shade Lychee from M. This is what it looks like on its own. It does look really pretty on the lips. If you like more of that coral or that melon lean, this is a really pretty, it, it's called Blazed Apple, but it really does lean more orange than red. This is not the original packaging, but this is the Lisa Eldridge Enlivening Blush in the shade Island Glow. This is one of those I cannot wait till she brings this formula back and I'm hoping she brings all of the shades she had before plus some more. But this is one of those, if you still have yours, the packaging failed, I had to squeeze it into something else. But I love something like this because it does have that really bright, really intense, bold shade. Another one that is great if you love a coral or a bright orange leaning one is this one here from Danessa Myricks. This is the shade Golden Hour. This is from her new flushed blush line, like the Yummy Skin line. And this one, I feel like this might be on the verge of too much for someone like me. Um, I am really fair. This is one I have to use so carefully, so carefully. But if you like a brighter orange leaning or maybe coral leaning blush, think about shades like this because you can get a lot more intensity with it and something a little softer over here if you like a light peach shade. But these are both very distinctive kind of peachy coral looks that I lean on heavily in the summertime. The last one I'm gonna put on today is when I'm gonna put on both cheeks. This is what I'm planning on wearing today and it's one from Merit. I remember the first time I tried the Merit Blush Balm, I was like, no, because the way it's designed, it looks like you're just supposed to draw it on. But every time I do that, this is such an emollient product, it disturbs what I have on underneath. And right now, I have just a little bit of concealer to knock down the redness of having wiped all the other blush off my face, and I don't have it powdered. Because when I'm using cream products, I like to put cream on top of something that's unset. So what I've discovered with this formula that works really well, I picked up a new shade. This is the shade Fox. Even though I didn't initially like this formula, the reason I wanted to try it again was this shade. This shade in Fox has, of course, the blush balm texture, which which is kind of shiny and emollient. On top of that though, it has a really pretty bronzy look to it where it'll give my skin kind of like a blush and bronze in one. And I really like that. So I'm just gonna take a Sonia G Jumbo Worker and instead of like swiping it on my face, I'm just gonna pick it up this way, bounce it off on the back of my hand here to make sure I have the product worked into the bristles. And then I am just gonna start to like tap this on. And my goal in applying this is for it not to be too blushy. I don't, I don't want this to be like a super blushy moment. I definitely want something soft. I'm wearing like a soft lip today. I'm wearing a, a you know, one eyeshadow, eyeliner, and mascara. This is like the easiest of all summer looks. And what I'm wanting here is to build up that dimension without feeling like I need highlight, bronzer and blush where one product like this in the right shade can bring me a little bit of the warmth that I need that I would get from a bronzer, uh, the glowy gloss that I would get from a highlight, and then some of that color that brings vibrancy to my face that I would get from a blush. And the difference between this side and this side to me is just remarkable. After putting this on, I was like, I wonder, do I have another shade that's similar to this? And guess what I do? It's this one. It's from Victoria Beckham. This is the Cheeky Posh, and I have it in the shade Playground. Now, if you're looking at these swatches, I think you're going to get the same sort of look here, where you're going to get not just blush, but it's going to give enough warmth to make it look like maybe you have a little bit of bronzer if you put it on kind of wildly all over the cheek. This one here is a little bit sheer and has a little bit more of a kind of um, thin texture to it, but it also has just a hair more shine. Um, when you blend out the Victoria Beckham, I find that this wears really well all day long. Um, I feel like, like, you know, they're, they're a little bit different, but they both have that really nice warm lean. I didn't realize I was going to like this type of a shade so much. First time I tried this, I was like, no. And I think it was, I had this shade paired with the wrong eyeshadow and the wrong lipstick. And it looked like a paint by numbers gone bad. <laughs> um, but I think that this type of a blush 
or especially this one here from Merit is really going to do for you what you might get from like a cream bronzer. Uh, this is the new one from Beauty Pie. This is their awesome bronze and this is their cream bronzer in the shade Sunnyside. This is definitely going to be a little bit more bronzy, but I feel like when you blend it out, you're getting kind of a similar idea. Um, and I feel like I could use just this and I have used just this and not used blush and not used highlight and had a really pretty sculpted look. Another cream product that I feel like I can use that way is this. This is from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Beautiful Skin Sun Kissed Glow Bronzer. This is one of those though that the, the color tends to be just, it's not quite as blushy, um, but it does have a little bit like when you blend it out. If you don't apply it too heavily, it gives just enough dimension and, and like color to the face where you don't look flat. These are more, of course, your blush tones, but then you're getting more into these cream bronzers. Sometimes I use just a cream bronzer, as long as it's not too cool. Definitely if it leans a little bit warm, I feel like this one here from Beauty Pie definitely has the possibility in the sage shade sunny side to be like a bronzer blush simultaneously. In the summertime, I really try and reduce the number of products I use, <laughs> mainly because it gets really hot where I live. And those triple digits, you know, one teens, sometimes, sometimes like 119, 118, 119, it's so hot. I feel like I'm melting everywhere. And uh, keeping my cheeks simple, especially if I'm doing like a cream look like this, I'm already leaning into the fact that it's a little glowy because it's summer and I'm sweaty. And, and if this gets a little glowy, we're already, we started out there. On top of that, I feel like if I need to reapply because I haven't set my cheeks, it's super easy for me to just, you know, like dab a little bit more on and boop, 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 and I'm good to go. I love that about layering creams on top of creams. I would love to know what type of products you love wearing on your cheeks for summertime. I know a lot of people lean heavily into the bronzer. I usually am a little bit more of a blush gal and I wanna do like one thing, hence like me showing you all the different blushes. And I could tell I definitely have types. I want that nude pink look or I want a bright coral or I want a soft peach or I want like a bright, like a red, a really vibrant shade. I have a lot of, you know, types. I could see that in the lineup here. But let me know what sort of products you love reaching for and um, which ones keep you coming back because there was a lot like of M products, a lot of beauty pie products here. Um, and I really think that's interesting when I have multiples of one formula, it really means that I really enjoy it. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section down below. Thank you so, so much for watching. Have an incredible day and I will see you again soon.